G'day, this is Michael from Coin Collecting and Detecting, and again today, one roll of each, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, dollars, and two dollars, that's what we're doing, so we'll go in that order as well, so we'll start with the five cent coins, and we'll work our way up to the two dollar coins, and um, yeah, see what we can find. All right, hopefully um, everyone has been having a great day, and uh, things have been going good. All right, my day started pretty good, so let's see if we can find... A flamingo. <laughs> a common theme of mine, trying to find one of those flamingo errors. So let's go see what we've got. Let's get the bag in position. All oh, these are going to go everywhere. But um, okay, let's zoom in a bit, get the right amount of detail that we need to have a look at the dates. And they went everywhere like I thought they could. Hey, Michael, g'day, Bree. How's it going? Best of luck. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, and same with you too if you're searching for coins. 1994, put that aside. I'll check that under the digital microscope. I'll be creating a video today about the new microscope that I've got to be checking for those large SDs on the 1994s. G'day, how are you going? Good, thanks. Uh, the P Train Live. Hey, Eve, how's it going? Okay, now a few of these five cent coins. You are on early today. Yeah, a little bit earlier today. So what's the time here? Ooh, my watch is pretty big. Um, 9.53, a.m. So um, it's probably, is it before midnight over there in the UK? Feeling warm, nice. <laughs> I can hear. Somewhere in my house, an alarm is going off like a like a clock alarm or a watch alarm or something. And <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, it stopped. That's good. It's currently 22.54, so just about 11 p.m. Okay, cool. I made it. Saf, how's it going? Another 1994. Put it aside. Moody, if I get coins that are worth something, where do I sell them? You can sell on eBay. Yeah, eBay. Currently sitting in the car. Nice. Is it hopefully not too hot in the car? It's a bit cooler here in Victoria today. Pretty windy, but um, a bit cooler than it was yesterday. Angeline, I found a round 50 cent the other day. I was so excited and everyone was jealous. Yeah, those round 50s are so cool. I love them. So, yep, for sure. Hey, Coinsmurf, how's it going? 87, is 87? Oh no, 85s and 86s were only made for mint sets, but I know some of the denominations, they didn't make 1987 coins for circulation. I believe it's 20 cent coins, 50 cent coins, and 10 cent coins. They only made them for mint sets, not for circulation. So that's why that date jumped out at me a little bit. I think I found a 1987 50 cent coin just the other day in circulation. So that's why it grabbed my attention. All right, and that one there, not on that one there. So let's get on to the 10 cent roll. Move everything along, one of each roll. Can you show us the round 50C? Yeah, okay. Um, the round 50 cent coin, 80% silver content. 1966 was the only year they were around in Australia. And um, about 15 to $33 each. So they're cool, very cool coin. Tess, I hope the package I sent you gets there soon. Oh, Tess, that's, um, oh, it sounds interesting. Ah, thank you. Um, actually, the last, I've got a post office box that it's in the link in my bio, and that may be where you've sent it. The last time I, I'm supposed to get a notification on my phone, like a, a text message to say that there's something in your post office box. But the last time, it's been ages since I've checked it, but last time I went there, I thought I'd just have a bit of a look to see if there's anything there because I hadn't received any notification there and there was something in there. So hopefully um, that system is working properly, but I probably should go and check it just every now and then anyway. But uh, yeah, thank you. That's, um, I sent it from PO from Canada. Oh, thanks Tess, that's very kind of you. Man, it's so cool 
just makes you feel sort of nice, doesn't it, when people do kind things like that, and it makes the person who's sending the thing feel nice too. So um, thanks, Tess. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it is that you've put in the post. It's cool. Paper tear, seven out of ten. Ooh, yep, yeah, can improve on that. Imagine they kept the fifty centers around every year. Yeah, that'd be cool. Although I think one of the reasons is it was a similar shape and size to the twenty cent coin, so I think people are getting a little bit confused. Um, but also the um, the silver content of the coin, yeah, made people sort of hold on to them. Um, yeah, Tess, I love your content. It's the least I could do. Thanks, Tess. That's that's awesome. Hopefully, things aren't too cold over there if it's in Canada. Yeah, it's probably middle of winter at the moment, so um, stay warm. David, hey mate, got another two thousand and one Federation rotation in a week. Got another one, so you've got a couple, have you? Gee, that's that's awesome. Only have, I've only ever found one of those, so you're doing great. Where do you sell the coins to? You can sell on eBay. There's coin collectors all over Australia who are interested in coin collecting, and some people don't live anywhere near towns that have got banks where they can search coins themselves, or they might not have the time to be searching through coins like I'm doing here. Um, so they're happy to just to pay someone to send the coins that they're after. Um, and have them arrive at their address so but having said that if there's lots of people selling then um, and there's not as many people who are interested in the particular coin you're trying to sell but things can sit there for a little while so um, yeah it depends on how you market it too like what sort of you've got really good pictures titles um, yeah have a look at the things that have been selling recently and have a look at their listings and see what how they go about it to grab people's attention to maybe buy their coins uh, okay 10 cent coins <laughs> okay um, i don't usually do the um what do they call it, a duet type video lives? Yeah, I've never done it actually, but I appreciate the, the offer. Someone from the top shelf. Okay, all right. Um, 20 cent coin roll right here. Uh, do you sell coins? I have I have sold a fair few coins, but I haven't been focused on it for about a year. I've still got a, I've still got a fair few things sort of listed just because they're listed as buy it now and those listings just stay there. Um, but I haven't been as active on, yeah, listing new things or anything like that. Test, nice. I just sent a note. Oh, thanks. Cool. Um, oh, a note, like a, is that like a bank note? Ooh, interesting. Mrs. Speck, g'day, how's it going? Yanan from the 1800s. What's from the 1800s? Anything from the 1800s is cool. I like old coins and notes and stuff. Eve, paper tear, 4 out of 10. Oh, no. I need to focus, don't I, on those paper tears. I need to get a bit better than that. Getting hammered by the um, paper tear raters in the comments. Okay, got to improve my game there. Spec, hello. <laughs> How much one of each coin? Uh, I'm not too sure exactly. There's so many coins in circulation, it's hard to know. Oh, good, thank you. And how are you? Going well, thanks, Mrs. Speck. Yeah, good, good. Van, Michael, in in one of your videos on December 30th, you got a double rim $2 coin. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I sometimes hold on to them if they go at least halfway around. They're called partial double rims. But um, it's relatively common on the $2 coin, so it's not as much of a draw card the ones that you really want are those full double rim one dollar coins from to the year 2000 the one dollar mule and um spec mrs specs in the in the chat here but her husband found one just recently so it's awesome so cool to see and it was like just pretty much a perfect one as well like perfect double rim some of the the one dollar mules the double rim goes most of the way it struck a little bit off center, so on one side it doesn't sort of show the double rim. But um, yeah, Kieran's was um, was nice, nice and centered, very, very, very good. Uh, I just won't couple Australian coins, Ronnie. I just won't couple Australian coins. Yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what. what yeah, sort of trying to say there. Uh, 
feel free to join in, cool. Well, I haven't really been focusing on the dates of those 20 cent coins, but anyway, I might have, I might have missed one or two things, but I don't think so. All right, 50 cent coins. This has got a bit of a tear on it already, so I can't, I can't lose points for that because that's not my, that's not my doing. Let's get a little bit of a better tear. Oh yeah, it's come up a little bit. It's not too bad, sir. I can't lose points for that because that was that was already there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Perfect Saturday night. It's eleven p.m. I have my gingerbread and watching rare coin finding TikToks. Awesome. <coughs> excuse me. Surprisingly better than expected. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <coughs> take a drink of <clears throat> take a drink of water, but my throat is a bit funny at the moment. <coughs> Michael, do you know if a two dollar gold poppy coin is rare? My pop gave it to me in perfect condition. <clears throat> yeah, the gold poppies, three dollars fifty to forty eight dollars, so five point eight million of those minted. So yeah, it is a bit rare and it's in really good condition. Then yeah, they can pull a bit of a price if you're interested in selling, but probably hold on to it. <clears throat> Thanks for the gift there, Mrs. Speck. Thank you. Nineteen seventy five in pretty good condition. Any coin in good condition will attract a price. I'll I'll share some prices on a nineteen seventy five fifty cent coin. Uh, where are we? 1975, 19 million were minted, $1.60 to $10. That one, you could potentially try and sell that one, but I'll, I'll hold on to that because that might upgrade the 975 I've got in my collection. This one will be a bicentennial with the ships on it. Yeah, so I'll hold on to this one too. Um, 1988, 50 cent coin, $1.90 to $57. Yes, please. What's the rarest? Uh, year you've year of coin. Um, <clears throat> oh, what's the rarest year of coin? Look, there's a one dollar coin that's supposedly in existence. It's only got eight thousand. That's the nineteen ninety two one dollar coin. That's super low, but I, no one's ever found one. I don't think so. It's yeah. People aren't sure whether that's a real. If the mint might have just made a bit of a mistake or something on that one. Have, have you found any 2023 coins? No, I haven't. No, no. Where do you get the knowledge on coins? Oh, I've been interested in coin and collecting coins for a number of years. So just build up knowledge over time. <coughs> Learned a fair bit by watching videos on YouTube and um, researching on Google and things like that. The Royal Australian Mint website has lots of information. Um, books like... Renex Australian coin and banknote values. Um, Renex era coin book. <coughs> oh, excuse me, my throat's um, giving me problems. When does King Charles turn up in the coins? Um, 2023, so this year. About I've heard about mid-year, about mid-year. Becky, the older the coin, the cooler, more interesting in my opinion, but depends on how far back we start. Yeah. I like old coins just because for me, it just makes you think about what life was like back then. Like if it's a coin from the 1800s, like there was things were totally different back then, the way of life and and stuff like that. So I, I find that sort of quite interesting just to think about um, what people were doing in the world at that point in time. Yeah, when those coins were made. Ooh, here we go. This one will be, this one will probably be a dinosaur coin. So four different designs, 2022. Let's see which dinosaur it is. Oh, it's not a dinosaur at all. It's a jellyfish. Well, they might have been around when the dinosaurs were around, but okay, this is, this is a great Aussie coin hunt coin, and it's the letter I for Irukandji. Irukandji? Jellyfish, they're quite dangerous, aren't they? Irukandji, the, those stingers are pretty bad. <laughs> I think so. I'm still clear, but watch from a distance. And hold on to the coin. Cool. That's cool. I don't think I've got one of those. So that will probably go into my Great Aussie Coin Hunt set for 2022. Awesome. 
Some recent prices on the 2022 Great Aussie Coin Hunt coins, um, $2.50 to $8.50, so that's cool. Maybe my find of the day so far. Yeah, Nan, what's the oldest coin you own or have seen? I've got a 1788 coin, and one of my favorites is a 1797 two pence coin, one of the largest coins the UK has ever produced or has produced for circulation. And um, yeah, I think it's a cool coin, so I do like that coin, the 1797. Yeah. Uh, Okay, well, we'll see if this one, this one's most likely a two, year 2014. They minted 22 million, but if this Anzac coin um, is any year other than 2014, I am holding on to it. It is a 2014, so yeah, 2014. Do you have a round 50 cent coin? Yes, I do. Yeah, someone asked to see it before, and that's the round 50 cent coin right there. 1966, 80% silver. Nice. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> so a 2014 kangaroos design. Only one million of these were minted. That's quite rare. I like finding these coins. Let's see if there's any errors on it. No. But that's cool. Um, 2014 mob of ruse. $4.60 to $23 is some recent prices on that particular coin. Always like finding those. 2014 kangaroos it's because they made a lot of the um anzac design this design they made 22 million of this design in 2014 but only 1 million of the kangaroos design were made in that year so that's cool oh this is 2015 this is the lowest mintage of the anzac years so uh what do we got so anzacs 2015 1.4 million of these minted that's low mintage at three dollars 40 to ten dollars awesome Happy with the one dollar coins today. Uh, Becky, the round fifty cent coin is the star of the live, like the triangle count the other day. Yeah, the triangle coin the other day was pretty cool, wasn't it? The um, Cook Islands. I think it's a two dollar coin. Yeah, the the round fifties are cool, but I didn't find this one. I didn't find this one in circuit. Oh, I don't know where, how I got come across this one, but I'm yeah talking about this live. I didn't find this one in the in today's live. Oh, appreciate the gift there. Thanks, Cruz. Nice. Okay. It comes down to this. This is the last roll, and this is a roll of two dollar coins, and you can find lots of different coloured coins. So hey, that's a cool <laughs> spitting out some money. That's what we're that's what we're writing to right about now. Nice. Uh, Rachel, is a one dollar twenty twenty two with the dinosaur on the back worth anything? Yeah, between um, three and eight dollars. Those dinosaur coins is some recent selling prices. Ooh, Galaxy, I like that. Is that the Milky Way? Sweet. Thanks, Cruz. What's the coin where you flip it and the queen's head faces the wrong way? That's called a rotation. That's called a rotation, and it can be on lots of different coins, but. For the one dollar coins, hey, appreciate the gift. Um, for the one dollar coin, one of the main ones you look for is this one. This one's a rotation, so it's a two thousand and one centenary of federation one dollar coin. So if I flip this one around, the queen's pointing in a different direction as to where she should be. So this is a rotated coin, and some prices on these two thousand and one rotations like this: um, fifty one dollars to eighty eight dollars are some recent selling prices on that particular coin. So. <clears throat> yeah, definitely look for those. Reese, is it Re? Reese? Oh no, your son AJ. Hey, how are you going? Okay, thank you. No worries. Is the Wiggles coin rare? Um, somewhat. So two million of those coins were minted. Each of the different Wiggles designs. Um, four to eight dollars each. Is some recent prices on those Wiggles coloured two dollar coins. One of the more likely finds of the coloured two dollar coins, so the Wiggles coins I'm talking about. I got a poppy with no colour. Okay, yeah, probably a gold poppy. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, this one will be an Olympics coloured coin. So, well, it could be any number of things. It could be an Olympics, could be a firefighters, could be a 75th anniversary, and I've never found one of those. 
Could be a women's T20 coin. So let's flip it over and see what it is. Boom. There we go. It is an Olympics coin, Resilience. There's six different designs with six different color combinations. So um, yeah, cool. So some prices on these, $4.50 to $8. There's some recent selling prices on those. So there we go. Got a bit of color. Nice. What if you have the whole set of the Wiggles coins? Well, the sets have, the whole set has the $2 coins and some $1 coins as well, the official sets. But if you're just talking about the sets of Wiggles coins, of colored coins, I'll just see if I break that down on my coin lists. Uh, where are we? Wiggles. Um, $10 to $25 a set of the colored $2 coins that people are selling. Okay, Commonwealth Games, colored coin, nice. So these ones here, $3.25 to $7. The letter U. Lockie, hi Michael. The 2022, 2020 World War II $2 doesn't have the word $2 on the back of it. It's weird. Ah, oh, okay, there you go. Try and remember that. Thanks for the info. Here we go, 2022, just the standard design. I'll let that go for now. I was watching a YouTube channel last night when I fell asleep while I was watching it. Laugh out loud, yeah. I think a lot of people say that. They say they like to listen to it just to go to sleep just because they find it relaxing and <laughs> so I'm putting people to sleep all over the world. Hey, here we go. It's been a while since I found one of these. An Invictus Games um, coin. 2018, that's cool. Yeah, it's been a while. So an Invictus Games coin, $3.90 to $13. 2.1 million of these coins minted. That's super cool for me because, um, what's your PO box? It's in my um, my account. So if you go to my TikTok page, click on my profile picture, uh, my PO box is at the top of the address there. So Invictus Games, that's cool. So I'll show you everything I've put aside for today. Oh, I like that one, that's cool. Um, and then for the $2 coins, had a bit of luck with the $2 coins, that roll. Got the colored U coin. So it's either A, U or S in the center there for Australia or Oz. We found a colored Olympics coin, Resilience, from the Jap Jap Japanese Olympics, Japan Olympics. And then onto the $1 coins, we found a Great Aussie Coin Hunt Uro Urukanji Jellyfish, pretty dangerous. Pretty lethal sort of, not. I don't know if it's lethal or not, but really painful sting apparently, but cool to look at from a distance. Um, 2014 Mob of Roos, low mintage coin. Only 1 million of these coins were made with the kangaroos on it in 2014. Low mintage Anzac coin, only 1.4. Is it 1.4 million? I'll just check on my list. 2015 Anzac. Yeah, 1.4 million of those coins were minted. The Anzac design in 2015. Then onto the 50s. I found a bicentennial in pretty good condition too. 50 cent coin. And then a 1975 coin in pretty good condition for a coin of that age. So I'll, that might go into my collection and upgrade some of the ones I've got in my collection. And I put aside a few of the 1994 five cent coins so I can have a look to see if I can find any large SDs. So below the five, there's a little SD there. That stands for Stuart Devlin, the designer of this coin. Um, but if that SD looks a particular way, and they call it a large SD on a 1994 coin, $23 is one of what one of those is sold they sell for, or what one sold for recently anyway. So um, yeah, and a couple of other things we looked at today was the rotated $1 coin that I found a little while ago last year. And people asked to see a round 50 cent coin. They're cool too. 1966, so we... Had a bit of a look at that. Struth, mate, put another shrimp on the barbie. You betcha. Get into it. But my find of the day, oh, man, this is a tough call. I've, it's been a long time since I found one of these. So that's ooh, that's pushing to be find of the day. That's This one's cool. I don't think I've ever come across one of these. Iriganji, Great Aussie Coin Hunt, letter I. So that's cool, too. Always love finding these. Um low mintage this is probably the lowest mintage out of all of the coins that i found today it is the lowest mintage so um oh man it's hard I, I would probably lean towards that but yeah it's because i haven't seen these coins 
Oh, I've never seen one of those coins in person, I don't think. And then, yeah, hardly see those. So, yeah, it's a bit of a toss-up to see which wins that. All right, I'll check a few comments and then um, I might head off. Sorry if I've missed your comments. I've been sort of focused on looking at the coins. Peace out, no worries. I love the dinosaur on the coin. Um, oh, yeah, there's some dinosaur coins. I do have some over here. I'll grab one and I'll show you. This one, dinosaur, this is one of the dinosaur coins. There's four different ones that are, you'll, you might find in circulation. So keep an eye out for that one. I've got a, I've got 12 of those 966 coins. Ah, oh, the round ones. Yeah, nice. What's the 2014 um, mob of ruse worth? Yeah, the 2014 mob of ruse. This coin here, um, four dollars sixty to twenty three dollars. Some recent prices on those. Got a jellyfish tattoo, so I'm a bit biased. Okay, Seth. So that's probably what you're, you're linked towards for being the find of the day. Um, whereabouts is the jellyfish? Is it on your back? Um, Becky, I think the UK could have at least put dinosaurs into circulation rather than NIFC. Nice. The Aussie Coin Hunt 3 was designed in the Canberra family home. In a Canberra family home. The lounge room. Ah, there you go. Can I say hi to Thomas for me? From Lockie. Hey, Lockie, how's it going? Um, Eve, we did get the Paddington one. Okay, nice. Defo. Cool. Okay, then. Well... I might sort of leave it right about there and let everyone go about their day and have an awesome day, uh, whatever it is you're doing. And um, if you're searching for coins, hopefully you'll find some cool stuff. There's plenty out there to look for and find. And I do have some coin lists if you're interested in knowing what to look for and the prices that they can sell for and the mintage figures that I sometimes mention here too. So if you click on my um, profile picture, and then just below the Australian flag, there's a little link that goes to my link tree. And then you can, the coin lists are there. But um, yeah, so if you're interested, you can jump in there. Where did you get that large 50 cent coin capsule? I got this one, this capsule. It's called a magic capsule from Renix. And I've got the Renix website linked through my um, link tree as well. So if you click on my profile picture, you can get to Renix. And if you put in the search term, once you get to Renix, uh, magic capsule you'll find these ones here I've also got a purple coronation there's, there's some different sizes. I think there's two different sizes so this one in the front is a little bit smaller than the one at the back but they're quite good for ancient coins because um, it's like the coin suspended it's got this really thin plastic type sheet in there that sort of just holds the coin in position and uh, yeah they're pretty cool aren't they magic capsules Thanks, mate. Have a great day. Yeah, no worries. Have a good one, everyone. And uh, hopefully see you again soon. All right. See ya.